I had the project to photograph a large tree in the coastal redwoods. It was a 1,500-year-old tree, and we, we needed to hook the audience about clear-cutting, about the clearing of all these forests, and we needed an incredible picture to do that. So I had to figure that out, and we did figure it out, and it became a five-page fold-out in the magazine. It was very powerful. In California, we have the oldest and largest trees on Earth. The tree that I'm about to show you is 3,200 years old. We made a big, this big panorama. Now, in the old days, you could have never taken a piece of one of my photographs and made a cover out of that tiny little spot. But if you go back, the way when we do these big pictures, we are piecing together a panorama. So that's three cameras taking that photo. So you'll, you'll understand it after you see what's coming. And our magazine has changed quite a bit. That's the cover of the print edition. Here's the cover of the iPad edition. Now these guys that I work in these trees with, they are obsessed with these trees. So I think it's the, not only the largest living thing, but the fastest growing. And I think it's about 3,000 years old. And it's glorious. This is what we came for. We've been preparing 11 days. But I don't know if we can take what we're going to get. But we're we're ready for this. I went a year sure. ahead and scouted this situation, and we went back in February, and I, I literally wanted these blizzards. We wanted this to happen so we could make it a little bit more difficult. Deadwood up here, man. Stay there for a sec. It's possible we're going to have whiteout conditions pretty soon. Yeah, I can see the snow coming. Yeah, How it's much? on its way. Yeah, he says picking up already. I can see it. What I keep saying is, you got it. I mean, you all I do here is worry. This is you know, everybody else has got real specific jobs to do, and I just worry. That humming is our little gyro that we're moving. The can you see how the cameras are moving up? We shoot a crossbow, but to the top of our tree and the top of another tree. And that lets the cameras drop down in space. I find out funny that uh, just over a week ago, I was in Costa Rica in 90 degree weather with, you know, didn't wear much more than a t-shirt. And now I am 300 feet up in a giant sequoia in the Sierras in the middle of a blizzard. Um, and uh, dressed like a piece of candied corn. <laughs> this tree is the president tree. We thought it might be the largest tree on earth. So we got permission from the park to do this. And then Steve Sillett, who's the character talking, he's going to go measure it the next summer and measure every branch, every limb, every leaf. Because Steve had bet his life that it was going to beat the, German, the Sherman tree, which is the acknowledged largest tree on earth. 
The Sherman Tree has a parking lot, wheelchair access, buses drop people off. The park service was like, please don't be bigger than this, you know, because you've got to build another parking lot. So we, we were close, close, but not the largest tree on earth. We don't care. We just, the President Tree is a spectacular tree. Just behind it stands the, the Chief Sequoia Tree. You know, it just, but what we're doing is just celebrating these giant trees. And they've now found a forest with five of these. It has the most carbon sequestration on Earth in that spot. And they're all 2,000 years old. And you'll be able to see this forest instead of a single tree. And they would have all been cut if we hadn't made a national park in Redwood 